what what comes to mind as Julius, not as EFF leader, but as Julius when you watch Andile and you listen to the things he says and he appears on Alien 7, what comes to mind? But he doesn't believe in those things. It's money. It's money. Andile's houses were being repossessed. He came to me. I didn't have money. I couldn't help. He took money from Dali. He took money from Commissar Masha. But I think that was not enough. He's still owing them. And he's still owing the EFF for those cases he lost in uh, Pretoria against the EFF legal fees. The guy was swimming in a pool of debt. And I think he shared that with people who were close to these chaps. And then that's how they captured him. It's not him. I mean, you'll even think he has gone crazy or something, you know. It's not him. And that's what poverty can do to people. That's what debt can do uh, uh, to people. That chap is the most reasonable person. If you sit down with him, if you talk to him, Mbuiseni says to me, they met somewhere here in some coffee shop here in Bramfonte. And then he tried to greet Andile. Andile refused to shake his hand, said, no, I'm not greeting London, what, what, and what, what, what. And Mbuiseni was in a shock, and I was in a shock as well because I thought, if I was to meet Zuma, I would shake his hand and I would laugh about any other thing that we must laugh about it at this door of parliament. But once we get into business, it's business. But to take it personal like that, it's, it's like Andile is saying, you're trying to get rid of people who are looking after me. And it's personal like that. It, it can't be. It's not ideological. It is not political, it is personal. And the only thing I can think of is the things that were happening in his life. And I tell you, he went to whisper into some wrong person's ear. And that person had the proximity to resources and said, yes, our chap. That's how they finished him.